Transparency is a key part of any relationship, whether it's with your family, your loved ones, or even your government. If there is not an open line of communication, the relationship is strained by the increasing lack of faith one party might have in another. That's very much the case with the relationship between the government and individuals today. Studies have shown that general trust in the government has been on the decline for some time, in part because the government has done a lot of shady things that shake the trust of individuals in their government. For example, it was only recently that Utahns discovered the state's driver's license division had been allowing federal and state law agencies to access their driver's license photo database and use facial recognition to scan the faces in the database to identify potential criminals. This included scanning the faces of minors. But that's not all. It was also discovered that the driver's license division had a memorandum of agreement with the University of Utah to provide sensitive information on Utahns, from height and weight to mother's maiden names and previous living addresses. The sheer amount of information being collected on Utahns without their consent was quite alarming, and understandably so. When Utahns signed up for their licenses, they had no idea they were also signing off on allowing the division to give their information to the University of Utah as well. The database, known as the Utah Population Database, touted by the university as the largest of its kind in the country, has the personal information of over 4 million people. The database also includes information from a variety of other sources, including private medical records. The reality is that so much remains unknown about this database and what kinds of information it has about millions of Utahns. Last session, Representative Carrie Ann Lisenby sponsored House Bill 183, which was passed by the state legislature. The bill aimed to create more transparency in the process of what the University of Utah was doing with individuals' sensitive data. While no one will deny the benefits of medical research, more transparency in the process is needed, especially when the information is being provided by a government entity. This bill was a step in the right direction, but more work remains to be done. The state legislature should continue the work of increasing government transparency, and it is something Utahns should support wholeheartedly. For the Burtis Institute, I'm Michelle Aiden.